Navy has to step up. It is the most important thing that we need to do over the course of the next 10 years. The war machine and powerful congressmen and senators' districts build those ships, and, and I worry about that having too much influence. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell took the stand at today's hearing great power competition in the Indo-Pacific. He told the Foreign Affairs Committee that the most important thing to do in the next 10 years is to increase spending towards our Navy. He wants to create more weaponry and ships to bolster our Navy as well as hand out nuclear submarines, quote unquote, our crown jewel to Australia and other partners in the region. Now, I wasn't too surprised by this, especially since Campbell has been a big advocate for increasing military spending, especially considering his ties to the military industrial complex. Campbell founded the Center for a New American Security in 2007, a think tank with considerable influence on our defense policy. CNES has a big association with weapons manufacturers and other financial giants like Lockheed Martin, Northrop Gunham, and ExxonMobil who act as donors. It's historically advocated for the continuation of war and increased military spending, uh, including the U.S. war in Iraq. Campbell was in fact one of the chief architects of the pivot to Asia under the Obama administration. That was a strategic initiative calling for increased U.S. troop deployment as well as establishing military bases across the Asia Pacific. It also deployed U.S. warships in the South China Sea and encouraged militarization of other countries in the region, including the Philippines, Japan, Korea. Now Campbell continues to call for increased militarization of the Asia Pacific, including nuclear submarines, long-range missiles, precision weaponry. This constitutes a highly aggressive military strategy aimed at Beijing. Meanwhile, communities in the Asia Pacific continue to face environmental harm and human rights abuses due to U.S. militarism. Campbell serves one thing, the war economy, not the people of the U.S. and certainly not the people of the world.